In today's video I'm gonna show you how to create that animation. If you want to emphasize important points in the video, then this animation is for you. So without further ado, let me show you how to do it. Sip of tea. So we're back in the software, I'm gonna show you the comp settings. Hopefully the mic works fine. So the first thing we want to do is grab the pen tool and then we're gonna create a little line. Just like that, I'm gonna turn off the fill color and I'm gonna change the stroke to white and also decrease the stroke width. Then we're gonna recenter and drag it and drag it to the left. We're gonna rename it to line and the next step is going to add trim paths, open up properties and we're gonna keyframe end, move that keyframe forward and change it to 0%. Let's make it a bit faster and we're gonna ease the keyframes. I'm gonna even apply the mid graph. Let's squeeze it in. Pretty cool. Next thing I want to do is type in the text. I'm gonna grab the pen tool and I'm gonna type in scale. I've recently discovered that font which is pretty cool. It's called Ephesus. So we're gonna stick with this. We're gonna try to align it perfectly with the line. Then as for the text, we're gonna open up properties, go to animate opacity we're gonna decrease the opacity to zero percent open up range selector and we're gonna keyframe start move forward and change the percentage to 100. pretty cool then as for the text i'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and we're gonna create something like that so basically i want to cut out the last part of the text i'm gonna hit f on the keyboard and we're just gonna nicely feather it out. As for the shape, I'm gonna add deep glow. You can use regular glow, that's fine as well. We're gonna leave the settings like they are, but here we're gonna also add deep glow and we're just gonna play around with this a bit. Just want to make it less intense. Okay, something like that should do. Then we're gonna select the scale, also the line, hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and for a second we're gonna have it overlapped, but we're just gonna change the text to brand. Then we're gonna drag it to the right, and then we're gonna do the same procedure one more time. And as for that text, I'm just gonna rename it to money. I know it seems confusing, but give me a second. So now I'm gonna select the first two layers. I'm gonna pre-compose them, call it one, then do the same for the number two. And we're gonna deal with the third text. Okay, and now we can actually make some order here. So skill goes first, then money is gonna be on the bottom. Simple pathway to making money. <laughs> Obviously you could add the effects at the end, but I just wanted to show you how it looks right away. Now we're ready to create a new camera. I'm gonna pick a preset of 35 millimeters, hit OK. OK again, then create a new null object, parent the camera to the null, drag it underneath, and we're gonna rename it. Also change the color. I'm gonna hit F4, and I'm gonna turn on the 3D layer on everything. And as for this layer, I'm gonna add tint, and we're gonna change the color over here to green. That's pretty nice. Then we're gonna grab something from Predit Pack. I'm gonna go to Animated Backgrounds, Vibrant Flow, HD, and we're gonna pick background number five. So here we kind of need to match the scene. So what I'm gonna do is add tint, and we're also gonna add exposure. I'm gonna decrease the value over here just to make it barely visible. Then we're gonna drag it underneath the camera. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna hit P for Cam Control, keyframe position, move upwards, and then we're gonna create a movement going downwards. Just like that, let's select both, easy ease, go to the flow, pick the mid graph, that's how it's looking. That's really intense, we need to extend the keyframes. Bit too slow. And also what we want to do here is offset the layers. So I'm just gonna select these two, drag them somewhere here, and then this one is gonna go there. Okay, pretty cool, now I'm gonna duplicate cam control one, hit U, delete the last keyframe, parent 1 to 2 and we're just gonna move downwards to our last point. Now I'm gonna select both and apply mid graph again. Now we're gonna head over to the camera, open up transform, alt click point of interest, type in wiggle, probably 1.2,15. Let's click away. Okay, looking way better now. And then the thing I would do to make it more 3D is head over to the camera, transform, and we're gonna grab X position and probably change it to a negative number. So that way that side is closer to the camera and the other one is further away, creating that 3D feel. Then on top, we're gonna create a new adjustment layer. I'm gonna rename it to blur. Let's add Gaussian blur. We're gonna bump up the value. And what we want to do is grab the ellipse tool and we're just gonna create a circle in the middle. Something like that should do. Then we're gonna invert the mask, click F on the keyboard and we're gonna feather it out. Like 500 should be fine. Just gonna adjust the mask, probably do it like that. Now we're gonna turn on the motion blur, we're gonna create a new adjustment layer, and I'm gonna add my favorite posterize time. Let's change it to 18, and also in the comp settings, we can head over to advanced, and I'm gonna change it to 300 by minus 150, to just get a little bit extra blur. Okay, so that's how it's looking. I would probably offset this a bit more. Let's just try one thing, I'm gonna head over to our line, I'm gonna bump up the value and let's do it for each of them. 
So basically we're changing the radius to 2000. Will it be better? Probably, but the thing is that I would like to decrease the exposure in the background. Or maybe instead of that we can go to opacity and decrease the value. Okay, that's looking way better now. So that will be it for this short tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Make sure to like the video and I will see you in the next one. Cheers guys.